Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to use aggregate functions. And aggregate functions are functions like average, sum, count, max and min. So here are some examples of how I'm going to use it. Until the next lesson, you are going to have only your aggregate function in your select, followed by the as for the heading and then from which table. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to add some field names here with our aggregate functions. So what this statement is doing is it's calculating the average of the percentages stored in the field called percentage. And it's calculating the average of only the grade 11 learners because I've added a where, where here where the grade is equal to 11. In the next example here, I'm using sum, so that is adding up, but inside of the brackets this time I have a calculation. So you can use either a field name in your round brackets or even a calculation using a field. And in this case, it's an example of learners that had to pay 500 Rand, let's say, towards a camp. And in the paid field was how much they paid up to now. So inside of the round brackets, I'm calculating how much each person owes. And the sum is adding all of that together. So it is calculating the total amount owing, displaying it as an owing field from the table learners, but only of the male learners because I've added a where where the gender is equal to M. Here is a list of our functions that we often use. Count can be used in two ways. So count counts 1, 2, 3, 4. And using the star will count all my records. If there was a condition, it would count all the records for which the condition was true. Count, where I'm putting a field in the round brackets, does the same with a little difference. If I, for example, had a field called name and I was count, counting so saying in my select statement, select count name, and one of the learners did not complete their name. So the value of the field name was left blank. And I had 20 records in total. It will show me only 19 because 19 were completed. So using count with a field on the inside will allow you to count those that were completed and were not left empty, whereas count star will just count all of them. The min and the max function will count the highest and the lowest values of what I put inside of the round brackets. Remember, this field, this f, represents both a field or a calculation for both of these. And then I've explained the sum and the average to you, sum adding them up and average calculating the average. I've included ABS as a, one of these functions, but it's not an aggregate function, but it's handy to use with aggregate functions, especially when your aggregate function is on a yes-no field. So ABS stands for absolute value, and it will give you the positive value of what you put inside of the round brackets. So let's say I had a field called male, a yes-no field. And if the person was male, they click on yes. And if the person was female, a no or a false would be stored. But remember I said that a yes also stores a negative one. So if I sum all the negative ones, or I sum the male field, so females are zero, so they're not being added up. And the males will then have a value of a negative value of how many males there were. ABS then changes that negative value to a positive value, and I will see how many males there were in my table. This is now your time to practice. There are quite a few activities that you can do in the festival program. We're moving on to the menu called Aggregate Functions and the submenus here. For these two examples, you had to use number as the heading. Now, number is a reserved word, so remember to put your square brackets around number after your as. Here are two more to practice, and note the example of output has the RAND symbol, so don't forget to format your calculation as a currency. 
Here are two more and later I'm going to show you the memo for the least menu. Here are the last two activities that you can do. For this last one, note that you have to follow this formula and total really means sum. Press pause, do these activities and I'm going to show you the memo for two of them. This is the memo for the least menu. I had to display the smallest number of tickets sold. So the least number of tickets sold using min. And then I had to show those only for the activities that started with G. So remember we're going to use like, G and then a percentage sign to indicate any number of characters after the G. For profit or loss, I had to apply the formula given to me in here, but I also had to display this value as a currency. So remember to add format currency and your open brackets and close brackets there with currency in quotes. And for this one, I wanted to display profit or loss. But remember, if we want to use one of the operators, we have to add square brackets around this field. Grade 12s, I hope this helped you and I hope some grade 11s tried this too. Next, we're going to learn how to use group by with our aggregate functions. Hope to see you soon.